NOD uh, antivirus database has been updated. I'm going to go ahead and configure NOD for maximum protection. And I'm going to go to setup, go to advanced mode, and enter the entire advanced tree here. Basically, I'm just going to turn on all options, crank up every single option I can to remove basically everything. And as you can see, right there, that's what I have selected. Uh, the last one I had to select was potentially unsafe applications. I'll just do the same for all of the, the rest of the options here. Um, I don't have any email on the system, so I, I really don't care about that. So I'm not going to mess with those um, options on the email stuff. Okay, at this point, all of the NOD options have been turned up to, you know, maximum protection. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run a computer scan, and um, we're just going to see how it, how it runs. Um, this should take a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and I'll be right back. It's been a long time now, probably more than an hour, and our scan has barely progressed. Um, I wish I could show you, except that the scan has pretty much, uh, pretty much frozen up. Um, the Qhost infection has really bogged down uh, ESET. It's really unable to function properly. Um, the scan is just not progressing at all, really. If I log in and look, um, let me just arrange my CPU. You can see that eKern and WinLogon are pretty much fighting each other for um, for CPU. I just wish I could tell ESET just to ignore the Qhost infection. I would just deal with it later. Um, I suppose I could add it to my exclusion list, but um, it's just, uh, I, can't, I can't even do anything right now at this point. Uh, the machine is pretty much locked up. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and reboot in safe mode, and we'll try to run not in safe mode to see if that helps any. Be right back. Okay, I'm booted into safe mode because uh, normal mode, um, uh, the NOD32 scanner wouldn't uh, complete a scan that kept freezing up in normal mode. So in safe mode, I'm going to go ahead and launch a scan. And NOD throws up a warning, basically saying uh, our computer is running in safe mode. Um, blah 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 blah, and um, we're just going to go ahead and hit yes to run a scan. And Nod launches a command line scan, which is pretty cool. I think that um, uh, the command line is always highly efficient and usually pretty quick. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and let the command line run. Uh, once it finishes, I'll come right back back in safe mode. I just finished my scan in safe mode, or should I say it finished for me. The ESET command line scanner has crashed, and um, I know why it crashed. I investigated this issue later on. Um, the command line scanner crashes when it touches a particular Vundu uh, infected file in System32. Um, I don't know why it does. As soon as I deleted that file with, um, with another tool, the scan continued. But um, in this demonstration, the scan does not continue. The ESET command line scanner crashes um, when it tries to delete a Vundu infected file. So um, we're pretty much done with the uh, safe mode scan. I'm going to go ahead and boot back into normal mode. Um, we, we got rid of a lot of stuff, but right in the middle of System 32 is where we crashed. So kind of a bummer, but oh well. I'm going to go ahead and boot in normal mode and uh, we'll see what's left.